So my favorite part about about being in Quebec was the the multicultural part of it, mainly because I got to taste food from around the world. I had Sri Lankan food. I had you know Northern Indian food. I had Southern Indian food. One of them is more spicy than the other. I don't remember which one. Anyways, delicious, and uh, I got you know Chinese food from Chinatown. Amazing. Um, Mexican food and and uh, oh, what's El Salvadorian food and like all of these different like countries. I got I got fufu from Africa. I got um, I know there's other ones. You know you get you get the classic like you know potatoes and and beef. I, I ate moose. That was I thought it was beef. <laughs> so they served us this meat. And I look at it and, and, you know, I just assumed that it was a steak. I thought, I thought it was beef. And so I start to, to eat it and it tastes kind of funny. And um, I didn't say anything. I'm not going to say anything. This is my first area. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> so, so I just ate it, you know. It was like, t beef tasted kind of weird, but that was okay. Um, it wasn't until like a few weeks later that my companion notified me of what I ate and he said that that was orignal which is moose and so I was very surprised I said oh that makes a lot that makes a lot more sense now why it did, did not taste like beef um, oh, what else did I get to eat Thai food we, we did a, a uh, we volunteered at a a Thai restaurant and we would help prepare the food a little bit and uh, she always gave us some free Thai food so that was delicious um, any other kinds of food there's always French food you get cheese and cheese and uh, and breads are very cheap up there which is really nice cheaper I mean it's not as cheap as in France so I've heard but it's cheaper than here for like really like designer cheeses and like good delicious cheeses yeah so the food was great I don't think I'd ever tasted like fresh real baklava before but that's delicious oh, and there's also another place in Ottawa um, oh Ottawa is great by the way for food because there's these things called food trucks and I, I've seen a couple of them around here in Provo but in Ottawa, they're all over the place. There's all these food trucks, and so we had one one member. He was recently married and and uh, less recently returned from his mission. He was probably like 24 or something like that. And he would always take us to these food trucks. He's like, these food trucks are great. And so we got to taste like rice crepes from oh, Lebanon or something like that. So and then this other guy, anyways, he took us to this um, restaurant that was a Greek. Was, was it called the Mad Greek? No, that wasn't it. It was a Greek bakery. And they had, you know, all kinds of delicious Greek foods. And uh, we asked them, we said, so have you seen the movie My Big Fat Greek Wedding? And they're like, oh yeah. And we're like, so how true is it to a family-owned Greek restaurant? And they're like, it is spot on. That is exactly what a Greek family-owned restaurant is, <laughs> is like. <laughs> and so that was really funny. Yeah. Oh, there was a, um, in one of my areas, there was a Greek family, and they fed us a Greek salad with real Greek olives, like from Greece, with the seed inside. And it was the most delicious salad that I've ever eaten in my life. It was so good. It was Gouda cheese and like all of this other, like cucumber chunks and tomato chunks. It was so delicious. So yummy. <laughs>